Matthew McConaughey, welcome to the Razamoga Show. Congratulations on the new book, Green Lights, which we have right here. How you feeling about this, man? Feel good about it. You know, I went and finally got the courage to go write the doggone thing and then to put it out there and see how it's been received, see that, you know, that it translated, that people are relating to it, even though it's, a, you know, it was a personal story of mine. Great. I mean, it feels wonderful. It's been been uh, um, at the top of the charts for two weeks now. That, uh, you know, you make any art, you want people to see it. And that's not why you make it. But uh, if more people see it and, and read it or go watch a movie of mine, that, that, that's what I want. But no guarantee. And this one's off to a great start. So, so. Is, is there a difference for you when strangers react to it compared to people in your family? Like now that it's been out, everybody has had a chance to read, including the people in, uh, in your family. What has their reaction been and uh, how important is their reaction to you? Well, the first person I let read it was my mom. Yeah, and really? My whole family. Yeah, yeah, she dug it. Um, and was like, yeah, all the stories you told on me are true. Um, <laughs> you walked away from something with romantic comedies, but you walked away at something you were very good at, which a lot of people have a hard time doing. Yeah, and understandably so. You know, it's, uh, you know, a lot of us are out there, and I've been in that way in my life, just trying to find what is that one thing that I am good at. And can yeah. can can I sub and can and is what I supply in demand? Well, at that time of romantic comedies, I was doing those, rolling with them. I enjoyed them, and they were in high demand. The paychecks were, you know, I'd taken the baton from Hugh Grant years before and ran with it. And and those <laughs> and those uh, those rom coms that I was making at that time were, you know, people were like, oh, well, he's the. McConaughey's the shirtless rom-com guy on the beach. And I've always been like, yeah, those rom-coms paid for the beach houses that I rented that I <laughs> sure not. Damn right they did. Um, but what that was doing at the time for me is the other movies that I wanted to do, other material, the dramas that I've been doing the last 12 years, those were not getting, those were not being offered to me. So right. I could not do those, meaning for any price, no one was going to make those with me. So because I couldn't do what I wanted to do, I stopped doing what I had been doing, which was the rom-coms. And hey, it was a scary proposition because I didn't know how long I was going to go with that work. And I went with that work for about two years. That's crazy. That's a long time. Yeah. Frightening. It had some frightening times, man. Yeah. I mean, like, look the days body. were long. Who doesn't want to hire this body? <laughs> they were still, they, they tried to hire this body for the, first, for the first six months until I turned that one down that was for like 14 mil. And when I turned oh, that one down, boy. I think they got the signal. They went like, oh, McConaughey's not bluffing. He's really wow. not doing any more of these rom-coms right now. I don't want to give away too, too much, but you tell this fantastic story of the night that you found out or that your girlfriend at the time, now your wife, told you that she was pregnant. And it was this great emotional moment between the two of you that you guys shared. And there were tears and there were laughter and there was dancing. And yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you called your mother and the, the conversation didn't go the no. way that you guys <laughs> thought it would go, right? No. So we called mom. Yeah. So we called my mom with this wonderful news. Mom, Camilla's pregnant. My mom's on the other end of the line. I've got on speakerphone, right? And I say, Mom, we're crying. Mom, is it? tell her the news. All of a sudden, she goes, no. No, 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 Matthew. This is out of order. This is not how I raised you. <laughs> You're supposed to be married first. This is not good oh, at all. Man. No, 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 no. And, and all of a sudden, Camilla and I are on the other side. I'm about to take her off speaker, but I'm like, no, let it ride. Let, you know, let, let Camilla hear the, this side of my mother. So our tears are turning to shock. And my mom's like, just going, oh, my God, no. I, you know, this is not good news. I am not, uh, you know what? Oh, goodbye. Hangs up. Oh. And I'll come in and I look at each other and go, well, that didn't go how we thought. <laughs> <laughs> of course, so... of course, a little stiff drink right there and say, well, okay, what do you do about this? About 10 minutes go by, the phone rings again. I look down, it's a number from my mom. I answer it, put her on speakerphone. My mom goes, well, I, okay, call him back. Am I on speakerphone? I said, yeah, you're here. Camilla, are you there? Camilla's like, yeah, Miss McConaughey, I'm here. She goes, okay. I would like to put some white out over that last conversation. Um, I thought about it after I said that, and that's very selfish of me to say that, you know what, if y'all are happy, then I'm happy. And there's no place for me not to be happy. If y'all are happy and you're gonna, you're gonna make a baby together, then I'm very happy. So just put some white out over that last piece of that conversation. Just forget I ever said that. Wow. Our daughters, my daughter, your daughter, born on the exact same day, January 3rd, 2010. All right. And she knows you from the rom-coms and 
people know you from different things. Like in my house yesterday, she's like, what are you doing tomorrow? And I'm like, I'm going to interview Matthew McConaughey. And then she says, which one's that? And then we just go, bull <laughs> mama. And then she goes, <laughs> and then she goes, oh, yeah, I know Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> well, cool, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so I want to know, did you see the clip of Kate saying that you were a lousy kisser? We Kate and I just had a conversation on this book tour. And, and I, that's the first question I, I said, look, someone told me you're online saying that I was allowed to kiss you. And she started laughing and going, what I'm saying is that every time we had to kiss, it was never like, ah, perfect temperature, nice romance. And we, it was like, okay, you're falling out of, an, out of a helicopter, you're going underwater, and as you come up out of water in the ocean, see each other, you're glad to be alive, and embrace and kiss. Well... All right, you've already got some elements to deal with that are going to make this not a perfect kiss. So you're coming up, you got salt water up your nose, you can't see straight, you're going in, you're trying to get a nice kiss, you're bumping noses, butting heads, you got snots flying everywhere, and you're like, oh, great, okay, take two, that didn't work. You're like, hey, we got to make this like look good as well. And so, yeah, we've never really been in them. Too many situations in our movies where we did have screen kisses where it was like, ah, oh, this is the ideal situation for a nice kiss. <laughs> uh, Matthew McConaughey, it was such a pleasure speaking with you. Uh, the new book, uh, Green Lights, is out right now. We appreciate your time. Uh, thank you for making the time to hang out with us on the Raza Mocha Show. Enjoyed it. Here's to catching and creating more green lights for all of us. Let's move forward. Appreciate thank you, you, brother. So much, Take man. care. Bye now.